chini sana. Mmeka chini sana. 1286. Yeah. Allow me to uh, register my disappointment of the happiness today in South Madrid. I woke up in the morning as scheduled to issue forms for bursaries for the needy children from poor background. In the morning I arrived at the constituents of uh, Chitago Borabu, where there was peaceful exercise going on. I finished from there, I went to Boikanga. I went to before before Boikanga I went to Getenga, then in Moticho where there was a big multitude of the people receiving the forms and checking with them on many other projects that we have been doing with them. Then we proceeded because I was with the MCS, area MCS of those different uh, wards. We proceeded to Boikanga where people received us, when they saw us, started running to us. Therefore, we decided to sit down and address them. The MCA introduced, the, introduced the, the chief officers, my chief officers, CECs, advisors. Then he had again welcomed another, uh, another honorable MCA who spoke, returned the mic to him. He spoke. As he was handing over the mic to me, I realized there was a commotion. I thought there were children chasing each other because there were babies running all over. Therefore, I had to ask that they are, uh, you know, what is happening? People thought it is Osoro. And then I asked people, do you really, do you want chaos in this function? People said, they responded. They did not want, they did not want to see chaos. At that juncture, there was shots, gunshots, all over. I'm told a number of those shots were actually the guy who has been hit on his, um, I think, left ear. It was aimed at me. Therefore, people, you know, they had to take cover, all of us, because there was a lot of shooting. Uh, I'm told there are many people who have remained. There are people in the hospital, as I'm talking. The motive behind the shooting, because Osoro, Silvanas, had not even come into the meeting where we were. He just arrived, I'm told he pulled out the gun, started shooting. I want to understand, I want to really ask myself, are we in a law abiding country where law must be followed, even for the civilian handlers of guns? How can it happen? How is it possible that a member of parliament, you can arrive from your vehicle with goons with, and again, all licensed civilians? They don't carry around a G3. I mean the AK-47, which they were carrying. It's for war. There is no war. Osoro not, is not a police officer. How does he walk around with AK-47? Not one. I'm told there were three AK-47. Apart from the people that he, who were surrounding him with guns, uh, with, with pistols. What is this? What motivation is this? Who is behind him? Is it a crime that we are issuing bursaries to the needy children? South Mugrango, it's the other day that again in a funeral, the same member of parliament came and disrupted and there was shooting all over. No action has ever been taken. Now around seven months down the line, there is an incident where doctors again were attacked, some of them were nearly killed. What is this that the government you want to con convey to us? If you want to kill me, kill me. Don't kill the young people, young children, pregnant women who are running. 
for safety. Those people, they were not even, they are not people who have money. Those are people, poor people, who had come to correct. Even if you, anybody had an issue with me, be it as a member of parliament, be it anybody, there is many other forums. It, it cannot be. Where the poor, they have come to correct bus reforms. Why is it that it is coming a fortnight ago, when even the chiefs were issued with letters warning them not to, participate in any exercise the governor is carrying out. I'll continue serving my people, but it's unfortunate that this is happening, it's happening in the full daylight, where in law enforcement are a briefing, where intimidation, where mockery of the police, I'm told even some of those people could be police who are going around in those vehicles. What is it? We will seek, we'll seek redress on these issues. I want to tell the Kenyans that yes, Kisi is either war zone, the government has decided, because this is a systematic process. All evidence showing that yes, indeed, people are up to something. If you check all what the discussion is there in the social media, is that there are people they are contented on many, 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 many other issues of either army or want this power. This power is five years. I'll be in office. We'll go back to Common Wenchi to ask another for another time. I want to pray for those ones who are hurt, those ones who are injured. I hope there is no life which was lost that exercise. Because we had done four words, we were going actually the two words. And this is not an exercise of an member of parliament, this was a county affair completely. I don't see how a member of parliament could have come to disrupt an exercise which does not relate to his, his cause of, of call. That's all. Is there anybody with a question? Okay, thank you. 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 Okay, Tukaenda moticho ward, kila mahali tulikuwa tunapata, wanaiji walikuwa na shangiria sana, na walikuwa wengi sana. Wanaiji walikuwa napata wako zaidi elfu tano kila kituo. Na governor was impressed na the reception ya lipata kutoka hizo ward statu. Tukaenda ward ya buikanga, wakati tumefika huko. <coughs> wakati tumefika huko, alirizifiwa mzuri sana. Watu walishangiria governor na shangwe. Haka ingia, tukafanya introduction, tukamaliza. Wakati tumeaongea, tumemaliza, governor hamechukua mic. Osoro mwenyewe was there. Tukaona tu watu wana zunguka zunguka tu hapo. Kuangalia tukasikia ni osoro ni osoro. Mwenyewe alikuwa na mevaa t-shirt. Yeye mwenyewe alikuwa huko. Yeye mwenyewe had a pistol. Na hawa wengine walikuwa na F47. Askari watatu. Wakaanza kufiatua juu. Wakati walianza kufiatua juu tukaanza kurara chini. Wakati walisema walikuwa na target governor, walikuwa na target ya chira na jamaa mwingine sijui anaitwa Chavet. Chavet simjui lakini nimesikia anakuanga timu ya governor. Eti walikuwa osoro alikuwa anapea instructions. Mkifaulu kupiga watatu I called the DCAO Nyamarambe, I don't know what is the problem because the governor was issuing puzzles here. Tumepata osoro na ya mekuja kwa mkutano. Ame storm mkutano ya governor. What is the motive behind the osoro? Because those people who are being given bursaries, ni watu mbao ni maskini, ni watu mbao wajiwezi, shule zinafungulua kesho, watoto wanarudi shule kesho, watarudi aje shule kesho na kama wajapewa hizo wajaza hizo basa reforms so basa hizo walikuja huko mimi identified kijana mmoja akona mandevu sijui wanamuitanga sosi ndio walikuja na hiyo group yao wakabeba hizo forms wengine wakatoroka nazo wakaenda nazo so naomba usoro mheshimiwa sisi we comes from south mugirango sisi ni viongozi tumechaguliwa kutoka south mugirango zile form umechukua rudishia watu wa boikanga wachaze wapate basa because hizo form zilitprintiwa na county na county haiwezi print form mara mbili 
imesha leta, wewe umechukua forms zingine zimeraruka, zimepotea. Sasa tujui watu wetu wa sauti mwanangu wataendeleaje. Governor has suspend exercise kwenda Bogetenga na Tabaka. So we are creating a bad relationship. Naomba serikali kuu itujibu because askari wenye walikuja huko tuliwaambia kama mtakalisha usoro chini, aambie ni nini? Kama ametumwa na serikali kuu ikuje kuangamiza governor. Wamejaribu kuimbiji governor, wameshindwa. Wamejaribu kupoishon governor, wameshindwa. Sasa ni risasi wanataka kupiga governor wa Kisi County. Ndiyo wafauru. Iyo ndiyo masuwa di nataka kuuliza serikali kuu. Ituambia ukweli. Tiko sisi tunafanyia wa, 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 watu wa, 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 wa kuwa kazi. Iyo ndiyo nauliza serikali kuu. Ituulizi, itujibu. Juzi, governor aliita machifs. Tukaita machifs kwa wadi zetu. Tukaita community health frontiers. To identify wale watu need cases. Machifs wote wakatoroka walitukua tretha ndi wengine nimekaa nao kwa ofisi wanapigiwa masimu hapo wanasema wanapigiwa masimu wanauliza mnafanya nini na MCA nani anafaa kujua yule mtu ambaye anahitaji neti yule mtu ambaye anahitaji usaidizi wa basari kama sio chief kama sio clan elder miji kumi ndio wanasaidia kwa identify watu kama tukiacha au watu tuache nje governor atajua kila kijiji nani anafaa kupewa serikali kuu lazima ituambie ukweli kama hitaki governor walete procedure mzuri ya kutoa governor kila mtu kisi county anafanya kazi na gavana mzuri lakini kuna mbunge mmoja tu anaitwa Silvana Sosoro na Silvana Sosoro waje nikwambie ukweli i come from south mugrango na watu wa south mugrango wamechoka na wewe wamechoka na vitimbi zako hizo vitu unafanya kila wakati leo umekuja mkutano gavana anaendelea kuongea umekuja mkutano wa gavana umestorm hiyo ni heshima hiyo ndio viongozi wanafaa kufanya hiyo si heshima tafadhali ile kitu tunafaa kuomba serikali kuu itujibu kama serikali jua IES chukua hii na DC au Nyamarambe OCS Nyamarambe OSPD Nyamarambe kuna DC si Nyamarambe kama watachukua hatua ya hii maneno ile kitu itaendelea kukua sote mgrango ni mbaya na tumewaambia wajiadhari waongeresha mheshimiwa Osoro kama watamuongeresha kana kama watashika mheshimiwa Osoro tumewapea wiki mbili kama Osoro hatachukuliwa hatua sasa na wananchi wachukue sheria mikononi mwao asanteni sana